I think when you are racing, it doesn't matter if you're racing a real car or you're racing in Gran Turismo or in a video game. It doesn't really matter, at the end it's the same. You want to win, you want to see your name on top of the list. You want to say I'm the best. Final few words before we go out. 23, I think we want to push on a bit if we can. Six hours for everybody and uh, points could be uh, still on offer and even with issues. So get to the flag and get some points. Okay? Yeah? yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Good, good. I think I'm, I'm very competitive. <laughs> Without this feeling, oh, come on, Lucas. you will not be a racing driver. I constantly have the mindset of like, I'm not going to win, I'd rather finish third than finish second because second's first to the losers. And that for me is never a great feeling. It's in my heart to be competitive and I shouldn't be out there on the track if I'm not really. <laughs> Nothing will compare the winning feeling to anything. You can pay a lot of money for any experience, but the winning feeling is just special and unique. And I think that's why we are here. Blank Plain GT Series is uh, for me the most competitive championship uh, right now in endurance racing. Grids are massive. The gaps between us in qualifying are so low. You can be you know, three, four, five tenths off and be down in P15, P16, P17, which, which is really unlike any other in terms of its competitiveness and, and depth, which makes it as a driver is so difficult because you'd have to be absolutely on the money all every time. To watch those five lights of the gantry just below the blomp outside. They've gone green. Contact down at turn five. Cars run wide and they get back on three wide. Some go up the curve. I told you it was going to be a busy old race and it's kicked off, hasn't it, already? It is absolute pedal to the metal. The level of competition is very high. We are 50 GT3 cars. It's, it's crazy. 29.5 for us. middle. Oh, Dennis has been here. Oh. We were ahead of that, though. Yeah. When the green light comes uh, at the start, you never know. You cannot predict, you cannot have a plan. You just try to find the, the right spot, right, left, uh, ahead. Uh, try to, to overtake the cars uh, you have in front and to, to defend the car coming behind. P13, we're having a cracking race, so we're 25 minutes in, and yeah, we're up to P11, um, and we yeah doing same times as the leaders. So couldn't ask more for Lucas. Really, he's done a mega job so far. Now Lucas or Don, yeah, 23 Nissan does the absolute best middle sector there. Look, going through on the inside. We have done it. Done it. Good job, Lucas. P10, P10. Oh, contact 23. That is Ordonier, the 23 Nissan at turn 15, the last corner, and he gets going, and that was a bit heart in mouth. Oh. Hey. I got tip from the rear, I got tip on the rear. He's right in the right. That's nothing. I was like 50 meters ahead and the Mercedes went deep in the inside defending the Aston. Okay. Idiot. Yep, he hit me big time. I spun and I lost uh, seven or ten positions. I don't know. And now P20. Alex is now in the car. He will try to push. So hopefully we can recover from, the, from here. Feelings I get on, on racing on Gran Turismo, it's, it's similar to what I feel on, on a real race car. The adrenaline, uh, uh, the pressure of not making a mistake, not going off the, the track. Ah! 
the pressure you feel on Gran Turismo is, is it's unbelievable. You get that rush of feeling of adrenaline in your body, you know, if you're having a little battle with cars on, on track, you for sure get that same feeling. Same competitiveness and same, you know, same environment comes out there in my living room, which is a bit strange. <laughs> Shouting at the TV on my own. <laughs> <laughs> you spend more time on the grass than on the black stuff. You need grass tires. When I stop playing, I'm always sweating. And not because it's physical, it's just because you are always on the limit and you get nervous. When I'm playing, I'm massively competitive and I want to I wanna overtake just as much on there as I do for, for real, you know? Over the line goes Alex Buckham with the Bentley almost alongside as they lead on each other. Buckham is now 9, 32.8 seconds off the race. Leader. Don't rule out that Nissan because it is creeping up the order. Wonderful racing and the commitment that he's put in whether you're fighting for the lead, in this case for 9, it doesn't matter. It's exactly at the same level. I double stinted, so much happened I don't really know. Just fighting all the time, battling all the time, so um, very, very tough stint. The sun is setting as the drivers battle on into the evening. It's two hours and 40 minutes to go then. Max in the car for the last two stints, so Max just got to chase down as many cars as he can. Matt Perry's last lap was about a tenth of a second quicker than race leader, so the pace that the 23 Nissan is displaying right now is very strong. In motorsport, anything can happen, so we always keep pushing. You just never know. It's not over until you cross that checkered flag. We'll be pushing all the way to all the way to the end. 50 minutes left, 50 minutes left, meet Push on, push on. Just under 10 seconds behind nine, so a bit of work to do, but you never know, we might be able to get some more points out of it. Keep pushing, mate, keep pushing. There's places to be out here, there's places to be out here. Come on. In the final stages of, of the race, uh, there's always uh, movement and you are always approaching and catching uh, some cars in front or maybe another car is, is catching you. So, uh, yeah, you just keep focused, keep fighting 100%. Those two cars directly in front of both four positions. Yeah. Yes! Come on! 9.9 in the second sector for Parry. Parry is coming. I can't see it. My steering gear is getting really heavy. It's really hard to turn right. Two laps to go, man. Two laps to go. Lockridge has just got ahead of Matt Parry for six. Then the BMW. This is a real test. No way. Are we more unlucky? So, the first lap was frantic, the last lap is going to be just as frantic. Yes! 99. 99. And, and 9 one, one. Oh! Yes! The two cars in front have got a 30-second penalty. So if we don't drop this lot, it's going to be P5. Unbelievable, man. You always push 100% until the checkered flag, who knows? Yes! Our competitive spirit of, of, for the team uh, was very important to finish in, in, in the points. Well done, well done. Never had a race so hard in all my life. Ended up P5, which is an awesome, awesome result. Up and down, up and down, but that's <laughs> Blanc Pan GT Series. You know, you can never give up in this game. You know, you got to keep, keep pushing. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.